Lo, in the heavens reared a throne, in misty skies there stand alone the brethren sentinel aloft, enshrouded by the verdure soft, enveloped in the verdure soft, alone they stand, alone. And on their shoulders do they bear, approached by many a winding stair, and on their shoulders brothers wear a halberdion of mail. Of red and gold the armor gleams, recalling plainly as it seems the blood of battles gone and past, the gold of diadems recast, the golden crownery recast, still in their memory gleams. Goes not the ringing eagle's call amid the ghostly billowed pall? Rings not the eagle's throaty call among the verdant cliffs? And in the deep abysmal vale, where nothing else will tell a tale, here do the brethren speech of trees, suspended in the lightest breeze, so rendered by the barely breeze, the chanting of the veil. Although the brothers understand, as those whose wisdom ages spanned, albeit they will understand, they spread the rumor not. And topmost, on a scarp and sheer, there standeth lonely Belvedere, not for a traveller to rest, but for its own undying zest, all for its own enduring zest, there stands a Belvedere. A crown that wears the brother king, although no crown itself will bring laudation to whatever king, the crown like Belvedere. There in the slumber ridden dale, where molten mist is growing stale, forebodeth nothing evil tide. The scope is clear on every side, so blue and clear on either side, the sky above the dale. Ah, could we even contemplate a sudden turn of evil fate, an evil turn or twist of fate upon such placid sky? But what is there, horizon red, unto the brethren sharply sped, and looming menacingly high, it took the unsuspecting sky, the peaceful unsuspecting sky imbued the coral red. But ever were the brothers still, for all is passing, sea or hill, though rising now, subsided will into.